This is non-calculator question number 8 from the May 2019 U.S. exam. College Board gives us a quadratic equation and asks for the solution. Since three of the four choices have a square root, I suspect I'm going to be using the quadratic formula. So let's set it up to do that. 2x squared minus 2 equals 2x plus 3. I'll subtract 3 from both sides. 2x squared minus 5 equals 2x. Subtract 2x from both sides. 2x squared minus 2x minus 5 equals 0. Now my quadratic formula tells me that x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac, all of that over 2a. In this case, a equals 2, b equals negative 2, c equals negative 5. And I'll write that out every time, both the quadratic formula so I don't get lost in the middle, and the values of a, b, and c, so I don't put the wrong term in, or especially drop a negative, because there's two negatives here that I could drop. So I have x equals negative b is minus negative 2, positive 2, plus or minus square root, b squared would be 4, negative 4 ac would be negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20, times 2 is positive 40. All that over 2a, which is 2 times 2 is 4. So x equals 2 plus or minus root 44 over 4, which I'm going to write as x equals 2 plus or minus. A lot of people have trouble simplifying these square roots, so I'll write, write as root 4 times 11 over 4. And that's x equals 2 plus or minus root 4 root 11 over 4. And hopefully that step is familiar. The square root of a product is the product of the square roots. Now I can rewrite that as x equals 2 plus or minus 2 root 11 over 4. Factoring out the common factor of 2 in the numerator, x equals twice 1 plus or minus root 11 over 2 times 2. 2 over 2 is 1, so that simplifies x equals 1 plus or minus root 11 over 2. And with the plus sign, that is choice D. College Board will frequently ask you a quadratic equation that requires this formula, so make sure you're comfortable with it and watch for common errors, including failing to put either the constant or the square root over 2a, or forgetting the 2 in the denominator. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.